In fact, Aer Lingus uh, is the only true long-haul low-cost carrier on the North Atlantic. Um, very many people have experimented with that model in the last 20 years. None of them have really survived. So we are very proud that uh, we are leading in offered seat costs uh, in that market segment. And, uh, but I do limit seat limitations to that type of business. What are legacy carriers doing to compete with LCCs? And how much will we see the two different business models converge? Uh, the legacy area are mainly doing the wrong thing uh, in coping with LCCs. Uh, they should mainly abandon that market and leave it to them, uh, rather engaging in a competition which only costs the shareholder additional money in the years to come. How do you see the future of the online passenger experience? That is certainly one of the big advantages of the last couple of years, uh, that all our customers can see our full offering now online and can buy uh, their tickets and additional value-added products from the website of the company. Uh, that embarks from a distribution model which is so ancient, uh, meaning travel agencies and GDS distribution, uh, that this is just the beginning and uh, more to come in the years uh, to come. demands of passengers when it comes to the A to B experience. Can you repeat that question please? Yeah, absolutely. So what are airlines doing to meet the higher demands of passengers when it comes to the A to B experience? Well, my prediction is that airline being a commodity business, the transportation, the safe transportation from A to B, we will, will become just the byproduct uh, in the years to come. We will embark on retailing, we will embark on merchandising, uh, but in the sense that customers really have an added value in purchasing these additional elements to their transportation.